When Cassie sent me a text and said, hey, do you want a laughing rooster? I'm like, yeah. Thing is, I got my chickens right here, my death layer chickens. There's only one rooster in here. I've got barbed rocks in here, the hens, and the death layer hens, but I only have that one rooster. That death layer rooster is the only rooster I have in there because I want to keep the death layer breed pure. And so my problem is, was finding a place for um, the laughing rooster. I've got a few ro uh, a few chickens out here free ranging. They kind of part-time live with the ducks over there in the corner and then they can come out during the day, but they sleep over there with the ducks. But I needed to find a place for the rooster. So I said yes to the rooster. Not really ready for the rooster, but you can't pass up an opportunity like this, you know. Luckily, earlier this summer, we had bought a couple of cages and put them in the front yard. They were meant for my two little dogs and, and some cats to come in and out and stay outside safely in the cages. But we had to take one of those cages and put that little rooster in it. The uh, the laughing rooster, the I am Katawa, he's a smaller rooster than my other roosters. And um, I definitely don't want to lose him to predators or anything else. So we had to kick some cats out of the cage and put the rooster in there. Of course, we put a hen in there with him to keep him company. It's just a barnyard mix hen. But I do want to get some more of the uh, I am Katawa or the laughing rooster hens and, and put with him. Originally, I thought I would be satisfied with just one laughing rooster because that's what I wanted was the rooster that laughs. But I've had him for a while and um, it, it, it cracks me up every time I hear him. And so I've decided I do want some hens and I do want to breed those um, those birds. I don't know if I just want my own flock or if I'll end up selling babies or eggs, but I do know I, I wanna get a, a couple of hens to put with him and keep the breed pure. The problem is we are in November. We're about to go into the middle of November and that cage does not offer a lot of protection from the cold. Now, I've not had problems a whole lot with, with temperatures, cold temperatures and chickens. As a matter of fact, I don't think I've lost ever any chicken to the cold. I've, I've found that they just need um, a windbreak. They don't need a um, completely sealed in coop. They don't need a heat lamp. The best, the best thing that I have found for them is to have a, a windbreak and to have a lot of air flow for air circulation to prevent them from getting sick. So here are the two cages that we got. I believe they're four four by eight pretty sure that's what they are um anyway <laughs> they work really good to set the cats outside let them get some sun but uh, right now doing a good job keeping these birds in
got very distracted. There was a, a blue truck, looked like a dark blue truck that came flying through here, turned up that road down there, and two sheriff's cars going after him. And then a little bit later, they come down this road, and, and that truck came flying through here. I've never seen a car, you know, like this close to me. I'm like really close to the road um, going that fast. And then there were four cars going after him. And then later I saw the sheriff's cars coming back this way, but I didn't see the truck again. I don't hear any sirens now. Maybe we're past all that. And then during all that, when that happened, an Amish guy came up right here and um, I stopped him and, and let him know what was going on. Tell him, you know, you, you gotta, you gotta get off the road some way because because uh, they're after this guy and he didn't care anybody, about anybody but himself. Um, and, that, and that's obvious. I don't know what he did, but it's obvious by the way he is flying through here and um, doesn't give regard to any, any, anybody's personal life out here. So anyway, I got some of this plastic stuff that we've used for roofing and I, I found this in the garage. This is, I don't know, had something to do with, it's really lightweight, real thin. Um, had something to do with uh, uh, either the stove that they brought or, or, you know, one of the appliances that they brought up to the house. Here's a piece of plywood that's pretty heavy. So I'm really not sure yet how I'm going to attach it to this. This is not, this is metal, but it is not like, you know, super strong. I don't, I don't know if it would, if it's supposed to hold weight like that. You know what I mean? So I'm still trying to figure out how to do that, how I would attach this stuff. But um, I've got to do something for them. I don't really have anywhere else for them right now. Oh, man, they got out. Ah, I don't know what to do. My laughing rooster is out. Tucker, no! Oh my gosh. I'm gonna try to go get some feed. Okay, I'm by myself and both of the birds got out. I went and got this uh, shot collar because Tucker's barking at him. And uh, oh, I'd be uh, so upset if they got over there with him and he and he did something. He doesn't usually do anything with birds, but I don't want to take any chance. So I'm gonna go to the shop, get some feed, see if I can't lure them back. Okay, they're still over here. Oh, this is, this is not good. Wonder if I should just chase them to the front yard because they're used to being in that thing. Maybe they'll go back to it. I'm trying to get over here with these other birds with the meat chickens. Come on, guys. Okay, so I'm not gonna be able to film and chase chickens too. I can tell. Ah. Uh, it is very hot today and uh yeah, we're, we're not used to it really here they are over here they actually ran all the way back here went around the fence caleb will get birds um had all the ghosts the turkeys everything coming this way and i cut them off over there at that fence and brought them back up this way and through here um because we're at the side of the house and they're uh, around the corner there is where their pen is. But I, I really don't know what to do. 
uh, just being the only one here, if there was one other person here that could help me trap them and try to catch them, or wait till nighttime, and I don't know where they'll be at nighttime. They may put themselves back up at nighttime since they've been in that cage for several weeks. So a lot of times birds will put themselves back up, but they this is their first time being out. They don't know where they are. Um, this is a bummer. I, I don't even have a plan. I don't even I don't even um, know how to. I don't have a net. I don't have anything. I don't have a way to do this. Except wait until uh, maybe when I go pick up Greg, maybe they'll still be right here, safe. Um, or wait till nighttime. So what I did was put the plastic up here, um, and then and it, let, just let that ply board there. I put this up with the same wire down at the bottom too, because the wind was blowing it. And uh, I came in here to put this one up and the gate was closed but it wasn't latched because i don't like to be locked in if 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 it didn't open the first time i tried it well i don't i'm not sure what would have happened they would have gotten out i'm sure because because it wouldn't have been good but that's what i was doing is i was bringing this in here probably probably need to secure the bottom so that doesn't cause the wind to blow and scare them if i ever get them oh i hit my head if i ever get them back in here and this looks ridiculous. It looks ghetto. Not, uh, I'm not gonna worry about that too much. My goal was to get them through the winter until I could come up with a better plan. And it might be that I'll build them, a, build them something and this might not have to last the winter, but that was, you know, nothing, uh, there wasn't any definite plans. So um, I needed to do something. Now it looks like I might not have to worry about it. I did put Caleb in the garage. I took him inside, put him in the garage because I I would be mad. I'd be I'd be real angry if he ate this chicken. It makes me angry anyway when he gets a hold of a chicken, but this one this one's different. It's time to go pick up Greg from work. And I don't know if you can see them, but they are still back there with the, the meat chicks. And I found a net. I forgot we'd gone to an auction earlier this year and Greg picked up a net. So I'm gonna go get Greg and then we're gonna get this net and try to catch these birds. This has been a really crazy day. Um, cops going by chasing someone, Amish coming by during all that. Um, but I need to trim these wires off. But this is this is my plan for the season. I might add a little. I don't know. I don't know if I add any more over there or not because I want the sun to be able to get in. That's why I put the board up here so that it will block them when they're sitting on the perch. And also, I want sun to get on their water to help keep the, the ice melted. But um, golly, I'm glad I'm glad we were able to catch him. Um, we were able to catch both of them. He's a lot quicker than her. He's a really fast rooster. But if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Leave a comment below. Tell us what you think. Um, tell us what you like and what you don't like. And we will see you on the next one.